Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between them. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. I don't know how. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. I guess they have magic, but monsters probably have magic too. So it really seems like the monsters should have won that battle. That battle. Mount Ebbet. 21x. 2017? Maybe? Hmm? Legend says those who climb the mountain never return. Don't do it, little... little genderless child. Don't do it. Don't trip. No. No. Don't. You'll die. Okay, nope. They're dead. Well, I did my best to save them. I did all I could. There's really nothing more I can do at this point. Let the record show there was an attempt. Undertale. So we're going to be playing Undertale today. Um, I'm going to click on the window. I <laughs> played, played a little bit of this. As you can see, I played pretty much a full episode's length. Um, and then realized that I was not, in fact, recording anything. So, <laughs> I'm going to reset. A name has already been chosen. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now I know I can hit F4 to full screen. And then I want to go over here and actually full screen it. Okay. And nice. Okay, so we start out here, and then we got to go talk to Flowey the flower. Hello, Flowey the flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. <laughs> Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. So this is a reference to the fact that I already played a little bit of it and then restarted. Sadly, you don't get the full gameplay experience of, of the beginning, but basically Flower tries to like convince you that they're a really good person, when clearly this Flower is pure evil. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being, and I can move it with the arrow keys. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, well, love, of course. Oh, so it still goes through this, it just doesn't... It's weird. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I love that face. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. And if I refuse? Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run. Into. The. Bullets. Friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here? Don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Okay, so you just get the same ending of, of the flowey don't try to kill you. See that face? I don't like that face as much. It's a less pleasant face. Um, we're gonna be rescued by Toriel. Also, much better face than the face we just saw. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. So what happens if I go this way? Nothing. It's just catacombs. Pretty linear. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. And I'm gonna save over that previous save. 
I really wish I could read that sign, but I can't. It's too far away. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. So we're going to go for um, maintaining our innocence in this run. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Did it. I'm gonna go through and read all the stuff again like I did in the first uh, recording. Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones. Foolish ones both walk, not the middle road. Pretty deep. Pretty deep comparison there. I'm gonna hit these buttons. To make progress here, you will need to trig trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Sign is completely useless. Stay on the path. Let's probably go a little bit faster this time. Uh, that little, the yellow text says hit this one. And you can also, you could hit this one. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. T -t -t -t. You encountered the dummy. Dummy? Let's talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Oh, that's pretty rude. Toriel seems happy with you. Nice. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Well, thanks. <laughs> there is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Stay in on the path. Stay in on the path. Oh, snap. Frog, it attacks you. Frog, it. Frog, it, you're... you're Really, really good looking frog. Really good. Frog didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Oh, bye bye, Frog. It. Look how angry Toriel is. You won. You were at zero XP and zero gold. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Oh, so this is saying. The safe path is this right here. Okay. That's how you're supposed to walk through the spikes. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. So clearly, you know, Goat Mom is not going to let us uh, take on this super dangerous spike-filled puzzle because it's super dangerous and full of spikes. Puzzles seem a bit too dangerous for now. You've done excellently thus far. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Bum bum bing! Bum bum! Bum 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 bing! Bum bum! Bum 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 bum. Staying on the path. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. This is pretty intense. Bum 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 bum. Make sure to stay on the path, guys. Bum 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 bum. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thanks for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. 
It's dangerous to explore the ruins. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? So, of course, I'm going to immediately call her. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Click. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. And so that's about it. There are also the options to call her mom and to flirt. Don't don't want to do those options. I feel like they might lead to um, to scenarios I don't want to have to to you know deal with. So believe the, the calling at that. Okay, so I already did this in the previous recording, the stick about waiting here. So in this particular run, I'm going to immediately embrace the darkness and walk over here. Hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I've yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Click. I will not. Well, I mean, I will in the fact that I'm not going to kill anybody. But I will be quite the rebel in all other forms. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they may not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, Please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. You took a piece of candy. So last time I took two pieces of candy, but that seems pretty rude now that I think about it. So I'm gonna just take one piece of candy. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Well, introducing the mechanic of falling down through a hole. I do want to go through that door. Wimsome approaches meekly. So if you try to console a Wimsome, they just run away. Which I think... You know, I think that's the best strategy for dealing with Wimsums. Like, I don't want to, to... Like, the other option is to terrorize them. I don't think that's the best. They seem pretty... pretty meek. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait. Do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Wow. Wow. It is. That's, again, because I've played already through this bit. <laughs> had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt... like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You do not dislike a butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Not being patient, though. I feel bad about it. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. So this is one of the ones that does recommend that I push it. Wimson approaches meekly. Wimson gonna be okay. Okay. That's fine. Maybe one day we'll actually get to help a Wimsum with their issues. So I'm gonna blow your guys' mind. Look at this. Look at this. How did I do it? How do I do it? I'm not gonna read that sign because um, there's a sign downstairs that says don't, don't step on the leaves. You know, and I respect I respect signs. 
Moldsmall blocked the way. So the trick to dealing with these guys is to just wiggle your hips in unison. Because then the Moldsmall wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. So sexy. Moldsmall is ruminating. I don't know what that means. But I'm a spirit. You won. You were in zero XP and one gold. Okay, so this is one of the rocks that likes to be pushed. Oh, we got another fight sequence with three of them this time. This rock, this rock does not like to be pushed. Whoa there, partner. You said you, who said you could push me around, hmm?